It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel-good breakfast show. It's Express All Right here on SABC3. And it's time for us to see what's happening in the world of daily tech. Because you know what? The world is moving at an astronomical rate. You and what's the details? It's a technological era we're living in. And we are so happy to announce that there has been another update from the world of social media. What? Yeah, man. So yesterday, WhatsApp announced that they have designed a new set of emojis. And we all love our emojis. The thing is, though, they look pretty much exactly the same as the ones from before. And no one is quite sure why they've done this. But um, speculation is that they're taking small steps towards having a completely independent <laughs> emoji design. Now, the theory is that if they change the look too much, in one update, many users would feel a bit alienated with the radical change, and that's bad for business. So I guess at the end of the day, people just like what they used to. Look, there are only a few things like that are, that are changed, but I do yeah. feel it's a more updated version of what was true, the, true. the normal but, emojis that we but, use. I'm, I'm, not too, I'm not too upset about from this. From a user myself, I would go the opposite. I would love to see a completely different set of emojis, something fresh, something new, something yeah. other than what you would normally see in the emoji range. So, like a Kimoji. Like a, no, no, not a Kimoji. We'll leave, we'll leave it there. I don't know. You can let us know what you think. I mean, would you want a radical change or rather keep it pretty similar to what yeah. it was before? Apparently, there's news coming out of Mother Russia. Yes, Mother Russia right now. The Russian company called Kalashnikov, famous for producing the AK-47, mm -hmm. okay, um, has now branched into a new field of design, namely aircrafts. Now, a video demo released by the company recently revealed a working prototype of a one-person hover bike. Now, the company is calling it a flying car, but... Um, it looks more like a manned drone. It consists of eight propellers housed in a skeletal frame with a few joysticks to control it. I mean, it looks pretty cool as wow. well. And it doesn't have any wheels. Now, it's a very basic design, but it runs on electric motors, making it very, very light and much easier to maneuver. I mean, look at that. This is crazy. You know those movies that you saw with, uh, like, set in the future? Yeah. With people flying these hovercrafts and kind of attacking you? Yes. Like, I feel like... Getting close to that. Look, man, I would love to own one of these in my garage and just land here on the expressive balcony every morning. Oh, you know, goals. no traffic. Goals. But um, yeah, absolutely. But there's no indication of what they plan to do with a prototype. But it's not the first of its kind. Now, earlier this year, Russian company or the Russian company showed off a, a similar design. They called the Scorpion 3. And last year, British inventor and YouTuber Colin Furs created a working homemade hover bike. Now, all of these kind of flying bikes and hover bikes and autonomous vehicles popping up all over over the world makes me think that maybe you know Blade Runner 2049 that we've been talking about isn't as much of a science fiction as we think so I don't know I think it's very very cool I would love yeah. to see this go into full-scale production and I would love to own it and I will be the first guy to test it uh, well. just putting it out there just putting it out there well anyways that is what we have in store for you in terms of daily technology the world is moving people you need to get on it exciting times <laughs> it's flying <laughs>